tired of the same old touristy stuff in Kuala Lumpur? In this video, I show you the cool hidden spots in and around KL city. Stay tuned for a different kind of adventure. Returning to the city of Kuala Lumpur, our journey is just about to kick off. While you may have seen KL Forest Eco Park in many other YouTube videos, I recommend an alternative, a much larger and more exciting park. And the best part is, it's free! Welcome to the Perdana Botanical Garden, spanning west of 226 acres or just around 91 hectares. Most sections of the parks are open all year round and can be accessed entirely for free. Within this park, you will find several smaller themed gardens including Hibiscus Garden, Orchid Garden, Butterfly Park and my personal favorite is the Bird Park. Malaysia boasts the world's largest open-air bird park, but do note that the entrance to these specific parks comes with a price tag of 85 ringgit per doubt or roughly 18 US dollars. If I had to choose between the bird park and the Petronas Towers, I would definitely choose the latter one. For bird enthusiasts, there's a separate area where you can purchase milk for just only 2 ringgit or approximately 0.4 dollars, a treat that all the parrots in the park absolutely love. If you appreciate my work, please consider to share this video, like and subscribe, leave your thoughts down below in the comment section. Once you explore the stunning Murdeco Square and find yourself unsure of your next destination, consider visiting the Sultan Abdul Samad Jamak Mosque, commonly known as Masjid Jamak. This mosque is situated on the riverbank, welcomes visitors entirely free of charge. Be mindful of the limited visiting hours, which are from 8 am to 12.30 pm and from 2.30 pm to 4.30 pm. The mosque provides appropriate dress attire for free, similarly to the pink mosque, so there's no need to worry about wearing long trousers or covering your shoulders. The mosque is particularly captivating from the Murdeco Square, especially at night when the river bank is illuminated with enchanting lights. The next stop is the Petrosian Discovery Center, also located on level 4. If you have kids, this is the perfect spot for them to play in a safe and well-organized entertaining environment. The area features interactive games and learning activities designed for both kids and adults. You can delve into the history of the Petronas Oil Company and explore the fascinating world of dinosaurs. The journey is a well-constructed starting with an introduction to science, understanding and exciting work of today's engineers, and even trying your hand at squeezing into real-life Formula 1 car simulator. After leaving the mall, there are two paths to choose from. The first leads to KLCC Park, situated just behind the towers, and it's entirely open for the public for free. This park includes a public pool area, an artificial lake with fountains and a mesmerizing light show a jogging track, a small mosque and a diverse range of lush vegetation. Encompassing about 50 acres or just around 20 hectares, the park is meticulously maintained and spotless. It operates from around 10 am to 10 pm. For those eager to witness the water and light show, arriving just a few minutes before 8, 9 and 10 pm is recommended. If you are interested in just the light show itself without the fountains, catch it at 7.30, 8.30 and 9.30 pm. Now, the second option is the Saloma Bridge, conveniently within walking distance from the Petronas Towers, just approximately 5 minutes away. Please note that the bridge is not accessible at night, closed from 1 am to 5 am from Monday to Saturday and from 12.30 am to 5 am on Sundays and public holidays. It spans 69 meters and features color changes every few minutes, named after a Malaysian Singaporean singer, Saloma. Moving on, if you are an open-minded traveler like myself, traveling to Malaysia, you might want to engage with the local culture. On many travel videos, you can see the National Mosque of Malaysia. However, in my opinion, there are better options to learn about the religion and culture. I have made a full guided tour in the famous Pim Mosque or Putrajaya Mosque in other words. The whole atmosphere is amazing. This is where I met with Raja, who helped me to record an amazing footage completely for free. Click on the link in the description if you want to watch it. That's it for today's video. If you would like to see more content like this, hit the like button, don't forget to share the video and leave a comment below. See you next time folks!